Hello and welcome to Mailtrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. Today we'll show you how to send emails in Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails is an intuitive framework with numerous built-in tools, one of which is Action Mailer. It is used to create, send and test your application's email messages. Here's how to send a simple HTML email with attachments using Action Mailer. The first step is to go to the console and create a mailer model and fields your app will use. In your console, enter the Rails Generate Mailer command and call it Notifier. After this, define the built-in helper method in the mailer model to generate an email message. This method can set recipient, address and attachment variables. Here's what the finished script with different helpers should look like. So you define the notifier mailer, which is inherited from application mailer. The application mailer itself is a set of defaults, so we don't have to set, for example, the from address in each of our mailers. In the notifier mailer, use the method called newAccount, which accepts the recipient's email address as a parameter. If you need to include an attachment, use the attachments object and add the file using a suitable key. In our case, it's a PDF file stored in the public directory of the drive. And finally, the script concludes by sending an email to the recipient with a specified subject and an HTML content type, allowing the email client to recognize it as such. Here, the email body contains HTML code. And since the mailer class deals with HTML content, to display it, a corresponding view is required, which is a template associated with the mailer. So we need to create a file with the .erb extension to give it the same name as the method in the mailer class. Okay, let's navigate to the notifier mailer folder within the views folder and create a new file. And name it newaccount.html.erb. With this HTML template in place, the email can now automatically use it. Additionally, you can create a text version of the email for clients that cannot read HTML. For the text version, let's create a file called newaccount.text.erb and fill it with actual email content. We don't need to type the whole HTML structure for the HTML file since the default HTML layout is already defined in the application mailer, which is inherited by the notifier mail class. Since a template is used in this example, manually specifying the body and content type is unnecessary. The template handles it automatically based on the provided content and required type. Next, you'll need to specify the delivery method and configure the rest of the action mailer settings in the development.rb file, which can be found in the environments folder within the config folder. By default, the delivery method in action mailer is always configured to SMTP with port 25. So if you're using a different number, don't forget to update it. Okay, so what's left now is to list the sender's address, domain, username and password that our SMTP server uses. You can also use different authentication methods like plain login or cram underscore md5. In our example, we'll use MailTrap as the SMTP server, but the same principle applies to any other SMTP server with its credentials. Once you've registered an account with MailTrap and verify the domain from which you will send emails, go to the sending domains page. Then in the SMTP and API tab, you will find your credentials that can be copied and pasted into your script. Now that all the configurations are set and the email script is prepared, it's time to see if everything works together. So go to the Rails console, type this command with your email address and indicate the deliver now method. Run the script and we can see it ran successfully with the HTML content and the attachment being sent. Let's double check this in our inbox. And there is our email. Next, let's look at how we can do the same with the help of an API instead of an SMTP. Again, in our example, we'll use MailTrap. The link to the official MailTrap Ruby client can be found in the description of this video. To start, include this line in your application's gem file. Next, execute the bundle install command in the console to incorporate the MailTrap library into your app. Now, let's set the delivery method in the development.rb file. In this case, it'll be MailTrap as provided by the gem. 
Once you have a MailTrap account and register the domain, you'll receive a unique API key, which should be securely stored in your system's environment variables. And that's where it's fetched from, ensuring secure authentication with MailTrap's API. In our case, this step has already been completed. Once this part is set up, ActionMailer operates as usual. You can also make your emails more organized and tailored to your needs by adding categories like user and other custom variables. Now that everything is set, let's test if our mailer works. Go to the console, run this command and include your email address. We can see that the script ran, so let's check our inbox. And there is our email with all of the information and the attachment. Just like that, you can start sending emails using Ruby on Rails. We at MailTrap hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video, brought to you by MailTrap, an email delivery platform to test, send, and control your email infrastructure in one place. Like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials like this one, and we'll see you in the next video.